2012, I received a mail from my friend who was in the Navy. He sent me this article about this girl. And uh, I remember when we talked about it later on, he told me, Gaurav, uh, this is science fiction. This was the story of Emily Whitehead, the first child to receive a new kind of therapy called CAR T cell therapy, in which we take the patient's own lymphocytes, modify them to attack cancer, and then give them back to the patient. While the concept had been around, uh, her recovery and her story was very dramatic because she had failed all lines of therapy and probably had weeks left to live when she was given this and went into a complete response. This triggered many trials in the US and all over the world and there was a race to develop more and more CAR T-cell therapies across the world. We were able to start the first clinical trial in the country and on 4th of June 21, the first child to receive CAR T-cell therapy was administered this treatment and had a very good response to it. Acute lymphoblastic leukemia is the commonest cancer in children. Many patients with relapsed recurrent ALL are difficult to treat with regular chemotherapy. The CAR T cell therapy is one such therapy that will help us cure many more patients with such type of relapsed or recurrent ALL and this will help improve the cure rates in children with ALL. This started the phase one trials uh, in children with leukemia and similarly, my colleague Dr. Hasmuk Jain with the same drug was able to start the clinical trials in lymphoma patients in adults. The initial phase one trials in the adult patients established the safety profile. This was followed by the phase two trial, which was started in December 22. We uh, enrolled 50 participants on this trial. And what we demonstrated was that this efficacy profile was similar to what is seen with the other approved products. But at the same time, the safety profile was much better. The need for ICU care was much less, there was no neurotoxicity with this product and also the incidence of cytokine release syndrome was much low. So this therefore is one of the most safe product available anywhere in the world and this is something which is suited for our setting. In my opinion, the CAR T cell therapy program in Tata Memorial Center is one of the finest collaboration of Tata Memorial Center since its inception in 1941. For Tata Memorial Center to collaborate with IIT Bombay to develop the first indigenously made CAR T cell therapy product is the defining moment of the early 21st century. And this was only possible because of the passion of Dr. Gaurav Narula from Tata Memorial Center and Dr. Rahul Purvar from IIT Bombay. They ensured that we were the first to develop this technology in India and this will potentially help many, many patients in the years to come. Once the fitness of patients is assessed, the IV access is ensured. Apheresis is done where we collect the T cells and these T cells are then sent to the manufacturing facility and once the product is ready, this product is shipped back to the site and then after thawing, the cells are infused after taking adequate precaution and the subsequent close monitoring is done to ensure that there are no major complications which arise. When the CAR T cell infusion has been given to the patient, we really have to do it with an aseptic technique as they are highly susceptible for infection. It is very important to keep the patient under observation with receiving the CAR T cell therapy because after CAR T cell therapy, patient may get reaction like fever, hypotension, tachycardia. In hematopathology laboratory, Tata Memorial Center, we evaluate the CAR T cell patients in four aspects. We evaluate the levels of CAR T cells from the beginning of the day three to day 15 to the at the end of month. The different level of CAR T cell proliferation in the patient which provides direct eye to the physicians. Then we evaluate the target cell clearance, like such as B cells. We also evaluate the cytokine levels, which provides the immune response of a patient to the CAR T cells therapy. And lastly, we develop a highly sensitive MRD assay, which evaluate the residual disease, that is a response to the CAR T therapy in patient, which can detect as low as 0.001% of uh, residual disease level in uh, patients uh, with B-cell cancer. The CAR T-cell center is a clinical manufacturing GMP facility where we have a quality by design approach for the development of multiple cell therapy products at the same time, keeping the cost very low. 
The Workera Center is primarily divided into three different compartments, which includes the research and development, the process development and the manufacturing research, and the clinical manufacturing for small-scale phase one, phase two clinical trials. The operational workflow of the center is guided by US FDA, EMA, and CDESCO guidelines. We also have an annual Asia-Pacific Cell Therapy Conference, which is the first of its kind in India, where we invite all the pioneers of cell therapy all across the globe, and the aim is to foster more collaborative opportunities across the globe and expedite the development of more and more indigenous cell therapy products in India. CAR-T is a very sophisticated technology available in very few countries of the world. We are proud of the fact that we have developed it indigenously. Our contribution towards Make in India and an Atmanirbhar Bharat for treatment of patients with blood cancers at a small fraction of the cost at which it is available abroad. When we speak about cancer research globally, what we normally hear about are research which is led by high-income countries, run by the pharmaceutical industry, and often tests interventions which are extremely expensive and out of reach for most patients in low and middle income countries. What I like most about the CAR T cell therapy research that we have done between the Tata Memorial Center and the Indian Institute of Technology in Bombay is the fact that it breaks all of these myths. This has been led by low middle income countries, addresses an unmet need in the treatment of various cancers and makes cancer care accessible to one and all. The facility at ACTREC for manufacturing cell therapy products is now going to expand to a 10,000 square feet area in the next one year. This facility will help us both with research and treatment of various cancers with cell therapy products. We envisage that in the next few years, we will be able to do many more clinical trials looking at various cell therapy products in various solid and hematological malignancies that we treat in our institute.